so you are very happy that you completed your first task at your new company well congratulations but on the same day the support team of the company calls your manager and says that there is some issue in the app and it is crashing for all the users so your manager calls you at 1 am along with two other developers who were working on other features of this app and he finds the line where this issue was coming through the logs now how to check that when this line was added who added this line and how to fix this issue as soon as possible this is where git will come handy right before coming to the solution i want to discuss what is git so is git a tool to manage different versions of the code or is a tool to collaborate with different developers working on the same code base or is it a tool to just store the code on cloud so now let's take the last two things that i talked that is git as a collaborator tool or git as a storage tool so if i use google docs for that can i can perform these two tasks yes so let's say i create a new google doc and in this i start writing my code i invite my friends they also add their code at the same time this can happen on google docs yes and finally my code is on the cloud yes so the last two features that i talked about can be done by google docs so why do i need git just because of the first feature that i discussed to track the changes and to see the different versions of my code so we get to know that git is a tool to track the changes and on the other hand github is a tool that hosts the codes on the internet it lets you to share and manage the code files on the internet that's all so now that you know that git can helps us to track the code my manager can come back to the version that was working for all the users now he can also identify when the changes that created the issue in the code were added to the code base and who made these changes right and now i can again fix the code and create a new version that would finally work for all users right so now let's see how to install git in your system right so you have to go to this website and it's also given in the description of this video right and now what you have to do is you have to select the operating system on which you are working mac windows or linux right and now you have to follow these steps that are given right after this to check that if everything is working you have to just open the terminal or command cmd just type git hyphen hyphen version so now when you do it you will see that this is giving you the version of my git right it means that git is installed successfully so now you can work on the code base and now git can start tracking things on your system but before that you have to do few things first of all you have to go to github.com and here you have to make a account right so to make account you have to fill the details whatever are given now let's say you created your account and now you come back to github.com so on github.com you have to create a new repository it means that it is the working directory on the internet right so there is a plus button here you have to create new repository so just give a name so let's say in this case my current project and just click on this create repository cool so this is how you install git as well as create a account on git so in the next video we'll be learning about how git tracks these changes and what are the different stages of these changes let's meet in the next video